Kerman is counted as one of the oldest cities, and it was founded as a defensive outpost with the name Veh Ardeshir by Ardeshir I, founder of the Sasanid Empire in the 3rd century AD. Kerman was ruled by Turkmens, Arabs, and Mongols after the 7th century and was expanded rapidly during the Safavid dynasty. When Marco Polo visited Kerman in 1271, it had become a major trade center linking the Persian Gulf with Khorasan and Central Asia. Ganjali Khan was the governor of Kerman during the Safavid era. He ruled thousands of cities and towns from Fars province all the way to the city of Harat in today's Afghanistan. During his time, he built lots of public places in the city of Kerman, including this huge square. The Ganjali Khan complex is a Safavid era building complex. It is located on the east side of the Ganjali Khan Square in the center of Kerman city in southeastern Iran. Ganjali Khan Caravansarai is among the many sections of the complex. In the past, it was a reputed school that later on was converted into a caravansarai. The caravansarai was built by Muhammad Sultan Yazdi in 1598 upon the order of Ganjali Khan, the ruler of the time. It's a structure with a rectangular walled exterior. The plan of the caravansarai is based on the four Ivan typology with double story holes centered on tall Ivans enveloping four sides of an open courtyard. The octagonal water fountain at the center of the courtyard adds to the beauty of the complex. The unique architecture of the interior and the beautiful tile works represent the art of the Safavid era. Today, the caravansarai is used as a college for art students. The courtyard is open to the sky and the inside walls of the enclosure are outfitted with chambers which were used to accommodate merchants and travelers to rest and recover from the day's journey. The caravansarai included many shops for travelers where they could acquire new supplies. In addition, some shops bought goods from the traveling merchants. There are several brick dome-like porches that are adorned with colorful ceramic tiles in floral and geometrical patterns. The tile works depict the glorious masterpieces of Iranian art. The dazzling ceramic tiles are predominantly blue in color. Like other hot cities in Iran, Kerman has some wind towers to accommodate the harsh and dry desert climate of the area. There are two wind towers on the roof of the Ganjali Khan caravansarai. It 
in 1937, the Ganjali Khan Caravan Sarai was reorganized and registered as a national heritage of Iran. Walking through dark and narrow halls to enter a huge and lighted area is a style in Islamic architecture of the Safavid era to give you the sense of joy and pleasure of entering a place. A place like a public bath, which was not only for personal sanitation, but also for socializing with people coming, sitting down, smoking hookah and pipe and talking about social and political issues or even finding husbands and wives for their kids back in the old days style. Built in the Safavid period, this courtyard is home to what was once Kerman's most important hammam or bathhouse, the Hammam Ganjali Khan, now restored and transformed into a museum. With the conversion of the population of Iran to Islam, Ritual purity through washing one's body became a requirement of religious life. Thenceforth, bathing became an integral part of life. Besides, baths were frequented not only for purity and hygienic reasons, but also for medical purposes. Physicians prescribed taking the waters against a great variety of ailments. Whenever I get a chance to travel to different cities of this beautiful land of Iran, I definitely stop by the bazaar of that city. Not just for shopping, but for the whole experience. Experience of meeting people from different backgrounds, with different ethnicities, different ages, different dialects, and so on. Another part of this experience, which unfortunately we cannot film for you, is the pleasant scent of the bazaar. Smells of colorful and different spices, dried fruits, and even dried dairy products. It's just amazing. A review of Iran's economic and social history indicates that the bazaar has always been a pillar of civic foundations. No town could survive without the bazaar, whether big or small. Some have allegorically described Bazaar as the economic heartbeat of the Iranian city. The ancient Iranian Bazaars have gradually evolved into an encompassing section of the town. A Bazaar was not a secluded section of the town, but home to a wide spectrum of goods and services sought by the townspeople. 